So in these uh, patients with isolated REM sleep behavior disorders, what we are interested in being a Parkinson's disease team, particularly dedicated to these uh, subjects because my unit is focused on movement disorder. So these patients have a huge chance to convert as Parkinsonism patients, uh, most likely like multiple system atrophy, Parkinson's disease, etc. So what we are trying to study is are the changes similar to Parkinson's disease or not? So using my expertise, I am trying to see the changes in substantia nigra, neuromelanin changes, and we see often that in these patients, it lies somewhere between the healthy volunteers and the Parkinson's disease patient. For example, if there is 300 cubic millimeters, in healthy volunteers, this uh, volume of the substantia nigra neuromelanin, then you see a bit lower in these IRBD patients and way lower in the Parkinson's disease patients. So this is somehow the pattern for these sort of studies, what we are interested in.